Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vert is here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can start to lay out this brand new heads up display within our game. As of right now the heads up display we've got in our game doesn't look that great, we've just got a health bar at the bottom, some text and there's just no graphics, there's no style and that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video. Taking a look at the Photoshop document I've got in front of me, you can see exactly what you're going to have at the end of the next few videos. So in the bottom left here, you can see you've got your health bars, your armor bars, and they're a bit more stylized, along with some icons for the health and the armor as well, which looks great. And then also in the bottom right, you've got some icons for some grenades we're going to be we're going to be implementing later on in the series and the text is just a little bit more well formatted. Top left you can see we've got our objectives with like a little backing plate to it, a mini map and a bunch of other cool stuff. Today we're just going to be focusing on getting these graphics um, from our computer and into the engine and then starting to lay them out into the Unreal Engine UI editor. And then over the next few videos we are going to be working on the functionalities for stuff like um, you know the mini map, the kill feed, the end, you know, that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, you guys do not need to worry about exporting all of this stuff out of Photoshop because I have done this for you already. One thing I do want to know is you need to make sure you download the latest version of the FBS assets from my website. Once again, the download link is in the description below. And then within here, you have got a file called HUD underscore export. And within there, you can see I have exported all of the graphics from this Photoshop document ready for you to bring them into Unreal Engine 4. So let's go and import these into the engine so we can start using them. Within my main blueprints folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a new folder and simply call it HUD underscore export so that way when I drop all my stuff into the engine, it's not going to go all over the place, we're not going to lose it or anything like that. So back in our file explorer, select all of this stuff that I've exported for you, Control A to select everything, click, drag and drop and just drop it into your content browser and then you'll get all of your graphics into your scene. Don't worry about any export, import settings, anything like that. With PNG files there's none of that business to worry about. So what we need to do now then is actually start bringing some of these assets into our UI. So the way we're going to be doing this is by going back to our main blueprints folder and open, opening up our FBS HUD widget. The reason why we're doing it from here is because everything UI related for us is going to be stored within here, graphic side anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at my little reference image within Photoshop. And then with this, I'm just going to figure out a starting point for the stuff that I'm going to implement. And I think the best place for me to start realistically would maybe be just placing some of these little borders in the top left, the top right, and then moving on to the more advanced stuff like the action bar, uh, the player bars for the health, the armor, and the icons, that kind of stuff. So starting off, let's go ahead and add in a couple of images for the borders that you'll find in the top right. However, before I do that, I'm going to want to make sure everything is where it should be. So as of right now, my objectives are on the wrong side of the screen, so I'm going to move these over to the left hand side. And because I'm moving them over to the left hand side, I also want to make sure I anchor it to the top left as well. And also make sure I change my text justification to the left as well, so nothing gets broken. So that's all good. Also, ammo should be on the right hand side as well. So I'm going to move this over and just place it in just like this. My health bar and my armor bars should also be on the left over here too. And there we are. So moving on now, we are going to add in the border stuff. So I'm going to type in border and the one I'm going to add first is my kill feed border. Now, as far as size goes, I'm just going to copy the original size because I exported this out from a 1920 by 1080 document, all of the sizes are going to be exactly where they should be. So I'm going to set my size X up here in the details panel to match what it should be over here in the appearance. So 110 by 33 and then I'm just going to place this in the top left just like that. And then if you remember, 
Once again, we need to make sure we anchor this into whichever corner it's going into. Let's add another one of these images in. We've got one over here. For the image, this time it's going to be the kill feed border. And once again, just get the original size, which is 110 by 33. And then all we're gonna do is just place it into our top right hand corner and then make sure that we anchor it. And hopefully if I compile this and press play, we should be able to see these borders at the top corners of our screen, which is all good. Because that's all done, I can now move on with some of the other stuff. I'm not gonna worry about implementing the minimap just yet and the kill feed. Those are gonna be whole separate videos of their own as they're quite complex. The next step that I'm gonna do is styling our little health bars and our armor bars. So select the first one, our armor bar, go to background, what we want to do is just use our two images. So with our bars, we've got bar underscore fill and bar underscore no fill. No fill is when it's empty and fill is when it's, you know, full. So we're just going to be chucking these into the background and the fill image. So for the background image, the image is going to be bar underscore no fill. And then make sure your margin is set to zero. Go to fill image. Once again, bar and this time use bar underscore fill and set your margin to zero just like that. Scroll down and make sure you change your fill color and opacity back to one because if you take a look in our heads up display, it should all be white. So having said that, set R to one, G to one, B to one and alpha to one and it should look white just like this. And then once again, in terms of size, you wanna make sure it's exactly the same as it is down here. So that is 291 by six and that will become the same size as it is in our heads up display do the same thing over here size x and y 291 by six and then for the image fill image is bar underscore fill and then margin to zero and then background margin to zero and then bar underscore no fill once again colors Set this to 1, 1, 1, and 1, and it will go back to white. And now we've got these nice little bars. Just to make sure the fill and the no fill works, just change your percentage, and you should be able to see it go along the bar just like this. And that looks quite nice to me. Now, we've got a bunch of other graphics we want to put in here with this. So let's just take a look at that. So if we go into the bottom left here, you can see we've got these borders on the bars with the color. And we've also got some icons and some text as well. So let's just quickly go and add this in. So starting off with the icons, just two more images, just like this. And then make sure all of our bars are anchored down in the corner as well with the images, set this to start off by armor underscore icon, size match this up with what you've got down here, so 20 by 21, and then do the same thing for your health one, so brush, appearance, and then health icon, and then just set this to 20 by 20, and you're all good there. And if you remember, there was also some text as well, but I think it's a bit too big, so set this to something like 18, and then the content for the text, let's just change the default text to 100. So we can just place it in here. We'll sort out the functionality for that a little bit later on. 19, and we are all good. Next bit is gonna be these little borders that we've got down here. So let's add those in. Those are static as well. They're never gonna change. So that's literally just gonna be an image. So with this, we're gonna set this to health underscore border and then drag it down under here, match up the size, 38 by 12. And then if we just drag in our bar to fit in the border there, and you can see that looks quite nice. It's gonna play around my placement a little bit, but roughly this is sort of what you're looking for. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. So let's get the upper border in here as well. So this time it's armor underscore border. Size should be the same. So 38 by 12. And then it's going to drop it in over here and just place our player bar by clicking, dragging, and dropping. And hopefully, if we compile this now, 
it should look quite good and to me those little bars there in the bottom left look good and you can see our armor bar is working it's regenerating and all of that good stuff as well so one other thing that we want to do then is the stuff for the ammo now if you notice for the ammo there's some icons for the grenades so i'm going to quickly put those in we're not going to worry about the functionality for the text too much for the number of grenades because we haven't actually implemented grenades yet so start off by adding some text for the text content just for now just for reference we're going to set both of these to 2x so we know or it will tell us roughly how many grenades we've got moving on let's get the icons in here so image and then they are named grenade one icon and then there's another one which is called grenade whoops grenade two icon match up the size so that's 20 by 20 for the blue one and then this one is 24 by 23 for this one and then if we just look at how this is laid out we want it to have we want to have these icons just a little bit left to the text here in the bottom right so let's just go and add this in so let's grab this text move it into the corner I want to try and get it roughly aligned with what I've got over here so if I take a look at this this is sort of on the one two three four fifth lineup is where my content should start so one two three four five so I'm gonna move this one up we have it over here move this over here and then these should be just about over here I think my text for this stuff is a little bit too big at the moment as well so I'm going to change the font size of this to something like 15 and 15 and I'm going to change it to light as well so it doesn't look too bad and then we just chuck these in here this should start to look a bit more like our heads up display um, you can see at the moment in the bottom right corner there the icons are miles away from the text and the reason why it's doing that is because our anchor points are a little bit off so remember what I said earlier make sure everything you create is anchored down to the corner that it's in or wherever it is you know within your scene so I'm just going to anchor these down to the bottom right do the same for my text my icons and all of that good stuff I'm just going to place it in just like this and also my text here I'm going to change this to light light and then the max ammo I'm going to change the color of this to a gray as well just because it's not important and then compile this press play and you can see now our ammo counter in the bottom right is starting to come to life it looks good when I shoot you can see it still works same goes for when I'm reloading so that bit is all good so the one thing that I am going to do before I finish off the video is just make sure the numbers for health and armor in the bottom left are actually working. So let's show you how you can do this. So if you remember, we created a binding for the health bar and the armor bars, which was essentially just casting to the third person character, getting the value and then just chucking it into the percentage. So we pretty much need to do the same thing for this text. So open up the first piece of text for armor, content create a binding and then with this we are simply going to cast to the third person character as the third person character get the armor and then with this armor we need to do float times float and the reason why we're doing this is because our variable goes from 0 to 1 to display it up to a value of 100 we pretty much just need to multiply this by 100 and it will look good so if we do this now object, uh, get play character and your blueprints look the same as mine it should start to bring the armor one to life so if I stand over here in my pain volume you can see it going down and it moves with the bar it regenerates with the bar and we are all good so we're pretty much just going to quickly do the same thing for the health and then from there we are good to go so text create binding and then cast to the third person character so we can get access to the variable 
for the health and then we're going to get health and then simply do float multiplied by float and just multiply it by 100 and then as the object wildcard once again just type in get player character so it can get access to the information that it needs. Anyway, you can see our heads up display is starting to come to life. There is still loads more that we need to implement into this. However, for now, I'm going to end off the video here as it is dragging on a little bit. We've still got a couple more videos to go. And in those videos, we are going to be covering things like the kill feed. We're also going to be covering the minimap, the timer and a bunch of other awesome stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome. Keep creating your boy Virtus. Signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.